Hello everybody, welcome back to the special edition of the PowerPoint presentation. To everyone from number 2, we're going to start number 14 in this, and then finish it off with slide number 22, just to give you more understanding of money in the employment relationship that comes to the workplace. So, let's do slide number 14. I'm going to click on the slide show tab and then click on current slide. Yeah. Benefits of diversity management to employers and employees. Cont. Employee benefits. Increased job satisfaction and morale. Reduced work-related stress. Increased sense of fairness in the workplace. The greater the degree to which employees perceive that their firm is providing them with a working environment or social benefits and a sense of fairness are important values, the more the motivates they will be to reward their firm by doing more work and or better quality work than is strictly required of them. Okay, let's go on to the next slide. Challenges and limitations of diversity management programs. The key question about diversity management in initiatives is to what extent they actually work. Small number of studies show positive effects on the productivity and profitability of organizations using well-designed and managed diversity management programs. Other research report that there was no evidence to show that diversity was inevitability to good for or bad for business. In diverse organizations where the diversity was not effectively sufficient problems such as a lack of conscious and dysfunctional conflict emerged. Okay. Measuring the costs and benefits of a diversity management program. Measurement of the costs and benefits of diversity programs vary across companies. Most costs relate to the initial introduction of the program. Most companies find it difficult to identify and measure cost and benefit indicators. Some of the most commonly mentioned potential difficulties and challenges associated with introducing and maintaining diversity management programs are as follows. Increased training costs, increased incidence of conflict, decreased productivity, and claims of reverse discrimination. Yeah, let's go on to the next slide. Implementing the diversity management action plan. Phase number one. Achieve buy in from senior management and establish a sense of urgency. Phase number two, create vision of the desired future through direct change and effort and communicate. Phase number three, implement the de diversity vision, identify and overcome resistance and look for short term wins. Phase number four, evaluate and consolidate. Phase number five, Anchor diversity management in the corporate culture. Those are the action plan steps to take in when managing a diversity action plan. The okay, next slide should be basically about base number one. So, base number one create awareness of the business case, values driven case, and legal reasons for diversity management and the importance of acting immediately. Number two, examine the market and competitive realities. For example, use a SWOT analysis of strengths, 
weaknesses, opportunities, and threats analysis. Number three, think diversity goals to strategic and business goals. Number four, focus on the benefits of diversity rather than accepting it as an unwanted necessity. And then number five, start honest discussions. Give Doimer knack and convince some reasons to get people talking and thinking. Base number one. Next slide is going to be mainly for base number two. Base number two. Number one, develop a diversity vision. Clarify how the future will be different from the past. Number two, set diversity goals. Number three, audit the concurrent level of, of achievements towards the diversity vision by gathering organizational data and, and analyzing it. For example, determine the current diversity profile of organization and current policies and procedures related to diversity. Number three, develop strategies to achieve the vision. Number five, uh, allocate resources to avoid diversity management initiatives. Number six, identify and discuss potential challenges. So that's phase two finished. Next one is going to be about phase number three. Well, phase two comes. Make sure as many others as possible understand, accept the diverse division and strategy. Use every vehicle possible to constantly communicate the diverse division and strategy. Have senior management role model the behavior expected of staff. Talk often about the benefits of diversity management. Openly and honestly address people's concerns and anxieties. Apply diversity management in all aspects of operations from training to performance reviews. Tie everything back to the diversity vision. That's the cons of phase two. Okay, here comes phase number three. Identifying the sign and necessary resource, facilities and personal to the prior toys activities. And implement the activities and show people how they can become involved in them. Look for small initiatives that you can implement without help from critics of diversity management. When these activities are successful, publicize them. Identify people who are resistant to diversity management and help them see why it is needed. Use an open and frank dis discussion. Look at your organizational structure, job descriptions and performance and compensation systems to ensure they are in line with your vision and diversity management. That's phase three. Here comes phase number four. Measure. Measure performance against goals. Assess. Assess the effectiveness of the program, activities, costs, and benefits. Provide. Provide feedback to employees and management. Gather. Gather information to inform future activities. Chart and communicate. Chart and communicate success to all staff and potential recruits. And then publish. Publish good news stories. So that's phase four. Complete. Those are very interesting facts in phase four. Those are good steps to provide better results to diversity management. Okay, next slide. Here comes the last phase and phase number five. Talk about progress every chance you get. Tell success stories about the change process and repeat what are stories that you hear. Include the doers, the ideals and values when hiring and training new staff. And that's the last slide. So let's check the remains spell before I close this video off.
no issues. No issues. No issues. No issues. No issues. No issues. Okay, and let's we'll click on full form or contractions. Okay, no issues. Base number four. Then the last slide is base number five. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's all it's building to check. So, I hope you all think this presentation very, very great. I found it very good, very interesting. So that's how to manage diversity in the employment relationship. So that is the end of this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot about this presentation. So thank you all for watching this. Have a good day. See you all soon. Good luck to all of you in your future endeavors. Adios.